Introducing the FastSet Extreme Epoxy. This epoxy is packaged in 250ml and 600ml cartridges. Simply unscrew the nut to the cartridge. Take a permanent marker and mark the cap and the tube. This is so you don't switch the Part A epoxy and B hardener caps. You can pull off the cap with the pliers and put the mixing element over the tube. Then place the nut over and tighten. Once it's tightened, you can snip off the end of the element. This allows the epoxy to come out a lot easier and smoother, and also for colder conditions because it will stiffen up. You'll want to use a heavier duty caulk gun, and then make sure your substrate is clean. You can use acetone to clean the dust off, or a rag. Dispense the first three to six inches of epoxy on a piece of cardboard. This is unmixed material. Once you've dispensed this onto the cardboard, you can apply it right to your surface. Just bead it back and forth, and once it's over the whole surface, you can take either a tongue depressor or another tool and spread it out evenly on one side. Once you've spread it out, you can, if you're going to be gluing this down to a surface, make sure you use a piece of plastic or some wax paper because if there's any squeeze out under the stone, it will glue to that surface and it's permanently bonded. So press your stone into place and grab a clamp and tighten as much as possible so there's some squeeze out. When removing the cap, simply take the cap off, the nozzle off, clean off the top of the tube and release the trigger on the caulk gun thus relieving the pressure. Then place your cap back on with the corresponding mark you made. Once the epoxy is cured, you'll want to start grinding. This is with a dry grinder, an abrasive pad, sandpaper, or any masonry grinder. Throw some stone dust on the surface. This helps the grinding of the material. Just grind it down to the surface flush, as shown. And since this is like a buff material, it blends in very nicely. Once it's cured, you'll see that it's going to be stronger, actually stronger than the stone itself.